Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Honeybee Stamps. Today we're going to create a very festive, very cheerful Christmas card using the new Santa's Village Stamps and Honey Cuts. I'm going to start today's card out with the Santa's Village stamp set. This is such a fun and adorable little set. I knew when I saw it, I had to have it. I couldn't wait to create some Christmas cards with it. I went ahead and arranged or several stamps from that stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it onto Bristol paper because I'm going to do some low water watercoloring. I'm going to ink these images up with a waterproof ink, which is VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And now that I've got them all stamped, I'm ready to color them. I'm going to use Tombow door brush pens to do my water coloring today. I'm going to start with the marker direct to paper and just color in the darkest areas of Santa's suit and hat here. Once I get that red ink down, I'll then grab my brush, get a little bit of water onto my brush, and then go over that ink, and that will start to activate that ink, and then I can kind of drag it and paint it over the white areas to create this soft gradation over his suit. It's pretty easy to do. The real key here is very little water. You don't need much and actually I spray it right down onto my work surface that way I can just use the tip of my brush to grab a small amount a small little droplet from my work surface so I use very little so I'm almost done here with the red I'm now going to move on to a really light peach color here for his face I've got once I get that kind of down around the darkest areas I then quickly blend that out it's a small area so it goes really fast and now I'm going to move on to a really light um, pink for his cheeks and nose. This time, however, I did scribble the marker down onto my work surface and then picked up that ink and applied it to uh, Santa's face. That just, again, keeps it really light. I even put a little bit on his lip too. Now I'm going to grab this really light blue and I'm going to color in all the areas that I want white. So his beard and a lot of the trim on his suit, just to add a little shadow. Once I get that light blue down, I'll then take my damp brush and I'm just going to ink, or I'm just going to soften and blend out with that damp brush, the blue that's on his uh, mustache and beard, just to soften that a little bit. Now that I've got the white areas done, I'm gonna finish up here with the black for his belt and boots. Again, applying that ink first to the darkest areas or the areas that I want the darkest. And once I get it down, I'll then grab my brush, get a tiny bit of water, go over the ink areas that will activate that ink, and then I just kind of blend it around to fill in the area of his uh, either his boots or his belt. So now that I'm just about finished here, I'm going to move on to my very last little sections, which is the um, belt buckle with a couple yellows here and a darker one just to add a little shadow to the buckle. I didn't even blend that bit out. And then a green for his mittens. And once I apply that ink and blend it out, I'm actually done with Santa. And now I'm gonna move on to his sleigh. I'm gonna start with a really pretty kind of blue-green color to color his sleigh. Again, applying that ink to the areas that I want to be the darkest. So basically someplace that would be in shadow. Once I got that ink down, I then will kind of paint over that color at to kind of activate it and get it moving and then go over and blend it over the surface of that sleigh. So now that I'm just about done with that, I'm ready to move on to the other areas like the actual, gosh, I don't know what that part is called, the actual uh, sled part of the sleigh. Gosh, I'm you have to forgive me. I am an Arizona girl and know very little about sleighs. And now that I've got that colored, I'm going to move on to his a sack here. I'm kind of going for like a burlap sack, so I kind of picked kind of this tan brown color. And once I finish coloring, blending that out, all I have left to do is the trim and the present here on the sleigh. I'm going back to my red that I used for Santa's suit for that little lip there on the sleigh. And I'm going to use that same red, of course, for the candy cane and one of the ribbons or bows on the present. Now I'm grabbing a pink here, a new color. I haven't used this yet for one of the presents. And then back to that really light green or really Kelly green that I used for his mittens. And then I went ahead and finished the rest of the images off camera because it's really the same colors, just maybe used in different places. And now that I have them all finished colored, I went ahead and die cut them out with the matching dies. Now I'm going to move on to my pine trees. I'm using the Toy Store uh, House Builder add-on set. The, tr the pine trees that are in that set, I die cut them out of white cardstock, and now I'm going to ink blend them to add some color. 
I'm going to start with Lucky Clover and I'm going to start at the top of each one of these sections for the pine tree and ink blend it down but stop just short of the very edge. I'm keeping that white because I think this will kind of make it look like they have snow on the, the uh, boughs of the tree. So once I finished with the Lucky Clover, I'm going to do a little bit more ink blending with pine needles here at the very tip top just to create a little gradation and that will actually complete my ink blending for these sections. Now I'm just going to adhere them together. One tree, I'm going to use all four sections and just glue them one on top of the other. And the second tree, I'm going to make a little shorter, so I'm just going to use three sections. So now I'm ready to ink blend my sky. I have three Distress Oxides picked out here. I'm going to start with Tumbled Glass, and I'm going to ink blend a little bit past halfway, just a tiny bit, with the Tumbled sky or tumbled glass and then I'm going to move on to salty ocean and ink blend the rest on up to the top and once I get a nice soft gradation with that and a nice blend between the salty ocean and the tumbled glass I'm going to finish up with blueprint sketch here at the very top again creating a nice little gradation for that sky we're kind of creating like almost like a night sky or maybe a twilight sky and after I finished ink blending, I sprayed some water down to my work surface, used a brush to pick up that water, and now I'm just splattering water spots by tapping my finger on the brush to release it. And this is going to create a speckly background, almost look like falling snow. So now that I've got that done, I went ahead and arranged all my die cuts and my trees over my uh, card base to kind of figure out where everything's going to go and then positioned this sentiment. This is also from the Santa Village stamp set. And then I'm going to grab a piece of press and seal just to pick everything up so I don't have to uh, arrange it twice. It didn't get everything, but that's okay. I got most of it, so that's going to help me save some time later. I'm going to ink up that sentiment in Versify and Onyx Black ink and then stamp it at the top here. And now all I have left to do is kind of stick everything down. I'm going to start with the trees and just stick them down with some liquid glue. I am going to have them hang off a little bit and I will actually trim off that overhang in just a second. I'll flip it over and grab some long bladed scissors and just trim off quickly that overhang so it'll fit nicely into an A2 envelope. And I've already gone ahead and added little foam squares to the back side of all these images. So now all I have to do is stick it down and then remove the press and seal. And this is almost done. I just want to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back side of this one present and stick that down. And my card is actually complete. And I'll hold my card to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details in this fun, cheerful Christmas card. I really enjoyed coloring these adorable images from the Santa Village stamp set. They are so cute. And there's also Mrs. Claus and houses and just a lots of other fun images in that set that I can't wait to create some more Christmas cards with. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you'd like any more information on the products I use, please head over to Honeybee. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.